You know, Toledo Bend, that was my first year on the Elite Series, and I actually, actually got to win the tournament. But it was one of those things, me and a um, fellow buddy of mine that, that is, is kind of passed away and gone now, Glenn Brown, uh, we were rooming together, and, and the first morning of that practice, we we backed into the ramp, and, and just I just I remember launching my boat off the uh, off the trailer, and Glenn was up here in the parking lot, so I backed him in, and he came over there and picked me up, and my boat had kind of turned in this little canal we're in, and kind of you know got up on a little just a little mud flat that was sitting there, you know, and uh, so Glenn brings me over there. I jumped in the boat and was doing something, and I'll never forget this as long as I live. You know, Toledo Bend was one of those things where fish might be out, you know, they might be doing this. There's The last time there was there was a big, great shad spawn going on. And I remember I jumped up on the front to get the trolling mirror to get off that deal. And I looked just to the right and there's a four pounder laying on the bed. I said, well, that's, a, that's I looked up at the good Lord and said, oh, there's your sign. And uh, so I went around and found a bunch of bass on the bed. And, they, and, and to me, this was the decision maker of that week. I, I thought it was kind of like the tail end. I figured, oh, you can do pretty decent on it and, and do good. Went out and found a shad spawn deal the first morning of the tournament. I caught two sevens and a five on my first three casts on a jerk bait on, on a shad spawn on, you know, high drill wall. And it, the next day, I caught one, one five pounder. And I'm, in my mind, I'm thinking, well, where are they going? Well, guess where they were going? They were going to the bank. And that was the best part about it. It was another way responders was moving up. And, and just it just kind of played in the deal. And then, you know, going into the last day, uh, I, I remember this. I remember seeing Keith Combs coming out of a creek called Buck Creek. And, uh, and Keith said, we were at the weigh-in before the weigh-in was over and all that stuff. And he says, man, he said, man, there was a couple of big ones that I caught. You know, he said, I think some more big ones are coming in there. And I said, well, man, I'm working my way down that way. And actually, I went in that creek and caught an eight and a six the uh, the last day of the tournament and actually, you know, and actually won. But, you know, uh, that was some of the best footage that I've ever seen. You know, it was me. Um, I, I remember I had something wrong with my elbow. And they always talk about because I remember setting the hook. I remember setting the hook with this arm. I think it was this arm was was messed up. I set the hook like this, so I had to switch hands to get on her in that in that video. Yeah, there was actually two in there. That's what made it. It was two great big ones were sitting in there, and that's what made it so uh, so harder for her to catch because one would swim off, and the other one would follow, and then it you know they wouldn't ever pay attention. And and, it, and I remember uh, saying, man, there's two great big ones. Well, finally, one of them kind of got, I guess, irritated and left or whatever. But the biggest one stayed. And golly, when that thing, and, and I remember, I, in my mind, I can remember like I was talking to Zona while he was sitting right there with me. And I said, oh, yeah, business has just picked up, you know. And I knew that I was going to catch the fish in the next, or, or hook it in the next, you know, in the next couple casts. But uh, it, it was just one of those things that you'll never forget. I can replay that thing over and over in my head every day. And it's something that I get to think about all the time, you know. So um, hopefully very soon that will happen again.